go further faster. So that is plastered right across the Ping website. So today, I'm pretty excited about this one. I've got the Ping G430 driver, the max version. So as you can see on the screen, there's three different options. So they covered all bases there, so it depends what your what boxes you're trying to tick, what you're trying to achieve with a driver. But basically it's to hit it down the fairway as far as possible. So make sure you select the right option or just have a bit of a head-to-head -to -head to see which one performs better. So I think when picking a driver, like one of the key things is that the alignment, that how it looks behind the ball so you can line it up to the target. Quite a lot of people struggle with that, and there's various different shapes, there's various different looks on how the driver looks from a bird's eye view, how it sits behind the ball. So that's one box to definitely tick. Like the shape of the, the, the driver head and how it feels off the club face. So I've had a few hits to loosen up and I'm gonna keep this live. So I'm just gonna hit it down there. we we'll see the numbers. So generally my club head speed hovers around, which I've been working on, come on. So generally hovers around 97 to 100 around that sort of ballpark, depends how I'm feeling on the day. So it's, oh, well, let's just go for it, let's hit it down there. So I'm gonna hit six balls, so I'm gonna do the same thing as I've previously just done with the irons. So I'll start with the ping, then move to the tailor, then to the Callaway, we'll keep the numbers, and then we'll compare and see which one wins at the end. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident with this one. They've changed the feel of the face, I think it's very forgiving on the bad shot. Uh, it's, got, it's got a lot about it, I think ping of, Ping have done well with this club, so let's hit. So I'm going to hit six balls down there, and let's see. Right, so ball number one. Let's get going. Here we go. So I'm just going to leave them on there. I just want to, you know, I'm not going to mess about editing the video and, and changing, changing what's going on. I just want you to see what happens. So that was number one. Club head speed, like I said, 97. Ball speed, 139. So that's not too bad. Carried it, 238, strike was okay, not too bad. Felt nice of the face, feels, it does, it's a good feeling driver. And like I said, sits nicely behind the ball. So right, ball number two. So I know I'm trying to give this a good old smack so we can get some off centre hits and, and see if there's, um, how much forgiveness is in the driver. So that's leads out to the right. So a little bit healy, but nothing too crazy. So face was a little bit open, but that's done. Yeah, it's done all right. So that's that's carried two two hundred and thirty six. Covered speed ninety seven. Ball speed one three seven. I'll show you the strikes at the end. So that's okay. That uh, I could. I feel I didn't quite have that right, the face was just a little bit open. So right, ball number three. So at the moment I'm carrying it around that 240 mark. So I'm trying to get that up to like 250, but that's that's not all down, well that's mostly down to me, you know, the driver's gonna help, but crikey, you've got to have the right engine to get it that far, haven't you? So I've got to get the ball, the club head speed closer to that three figures. Look at that baby, so that is out to the right. Got to be loving that, when they say a driver's really forgiving then obviously you can still hit it to the right, can't you? So I've tried to up the speed, got to 99 and you know I've had to clear the throat and shout four right there, so that's gone miles right. <laughs> 238, so about two, two yards further. Uh, Club head speed 99, so got faster than that, ball speed 138. But this time, you know, crikey, almost missed it, so yeah. Right, so let's have another go. So it's, it's trying to get that club head speed. It does feel really forgiving. It does, it does feel, it does feel nice off the face that it's, it's, it's there, that it's not gonna do anything too crazy. Similar, that's done really well actually. So that's right off the bottom. So that's quite a miss hit, which I'll show you that one. Chloe speed 99, ball speed 138, and that was right off the bottom, right off the bottom. So that did really well. So I'll do one more. Okay, here we go. 
And I said, sit well behind the ball, good feel for the face, get the right loft, you've got to get the right loft and make sure you've got the right backspin, it's that combination, then it's trying to hit it in the middle. You've got to try and hit the driver in the middle. That's, that's a huge difference with the driver because the face isn't flat. The face has got, up, whatever system, whatever company you're looking at, the face is not flat. So if you miss the radius, if you miss, miss that seven millimeter radius in the middle, it's going to affect the shot. So the main bit you're concentrating on there is strike. Got to get the strike. So it's launching quite high, but that's a bit of a fault of mine. I tend to lean back on it. That's why it gets the high fly. That's, right, that's not right at the toe, but it's at the toe. Low speed 98, ball speed 138, and it carried 247 yards. Now that is that is a cracking effort from that. Right, stay there. Just let me show you the strike pattern. So with with the quad, so it holds like five strikes at a time. The last strike is the it's, it's done on colour. So the red one was the last one to hit. So like I said, that wasn't out the middle. So that's it's done really well for that. So carry it 240 plus and hit it off the toe like that. That is superb. That's what you're looking for from a driver. That's what you're looking for from that forgiveness. So as long as the club face isn't miles open or miles shut and you've got that miss hit and it still does that for you, that's, that's fantastic. So then the previous one was out, out the bottom. So that still did quite well. And then the other two were, the other three were, were, were around the centre, so not too bad. So as a driver, I think it sits nicely behind the ball. You've got your three different options, so that's quite cool, so that you can tick your box, what you're looking to achieve. Feels very nice off the face, but that's quite personal preference to me. So I think when you're looking at a driver, and you know, you're spending like around the 500 quid mark, you've got to put this one in the mix. I think this is a very good driver.